Today, I'll be replacing two established filters in a 37-gallon uh, aquarium, freshwater aquarium. I'll be replacing those filters with this one that I've just made. This is a three-inch PVC with a cap and a hole on the top so I can put a uh, power head on there and a cap on the bottom. The PVC's got some holes drilled all the way around the bottom. And I'll be filling it with uh, um, the coarse biological sponge that you get from Amazon or any fish store, I think. I'll put two of these in here in the bottom. And uh, they go about three inches. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'll put floss the rest of the way. And then I'm going to fill it with these um, plastic sponges that you can get from Amazon as well. And these are perfect for biological filtration. Filtration. I'll put three fresh ones in there. And they fit in there pretty perfectly. I don't know if you can see that. We'll fill it about halfway up. And then I'm gonna put another sponge in there, the, the same sponges. The reason I put that in there is to help even the flow of water. Sometimes the water will take a certain pathway when you have irregular um, material in there for filtration. The sponge, about halfway through there, and if you can see, but that will help even off the flow. The rest, of the, it's filled up to about here. The rest of the way, I'm going to fill it with um, the, the established bio media that we have in the, in the 37 gallon tank right now. It's established. Um, we'll fill it up to the top, put the cap on, little floss in there, like I said, put that on. And this will be ready to go. When we want to do maintenance on this, the only thing we're going to do is take the floss out, toss it, get a new thing of floss, maybe dunk this a few times in a five gallon bucket filled with uh, uh, aquarium water, not new tap water. The chlorine will destroy the bacteria in here. Uh, and then put it back. It's pretty simple. So let me show you the filters that I have in the tank right now and we'll uh, get going on this. So these are the two filters that we're gonna be replacing. I'll use that power head, but eliminate the two PVC filters. All right, I've unplugged the power heads just gonna remove the PVC filter, drop the power head back in there. We don't need to do anything with that. I'll turn the uh, filter upside down to drain all the water out. If I turn it up the other way, dirty water will come out. We'll let this drain. Take it in the other room, you put the established biomedia in the new filter in combination with the new media, and uh, hopefully that won't damage our cycle too much. Here we are with the old established filter and the brand new filter. We'll take the bottom off, take the polyfill out, and um, take the top off. Remove, that's established. This is established. And I have some of the uh, plastic scrubbing pads that I bought on Amazon, just like the one, ones that are in the 
the new filter. These are all established. So that's going to save our cycle. There's one more in there, if I can get it out. All right, put that aside. Now, we've already installed the uh, quartz foam in there, the new ones. Now I'm gonna put some poly fill in there. Remember I left about three inches of space there for the poly. And then we just put this uh, cap on. Now I get all the established media in there. I think I've left just about enough room to put all of the established stuff in there. Got a couple little sponges. I don't know if I even want to bother with them, but maybe I should. Put that in there. There's the cap. This filter is ready to go. All right, we're all set here. All I have to do is put the uh, power head on. Hope the height is right. Shove it way tight in the corner there. Plug that in. And there's the new filter. I've decided to keep the other small one in there just for the short term, just to be sure that uh, I have enough uh, established biologics in there. And, uh, hopefully we won't have an ammonia spike. Well, here it is a couple of days later with just the brand new filter and there. I've removed the other one. And it's looking pretty good. I haven't had any difficulty with uh, spikes in ammonia. The water's pretty clear. And it's looking pretty good. Pretty soon I'll start adding uh, some of the aquascaping. And that's the new filter.